I thought it would be useful to make some videos to show how I set up and run different calculations, uh, particularly for VASP, for those of you using it, but it may be interesting to some of the other people in the group using Gaussian. So this first video is about some tools that I use to create the files for VASP calculations rather than submitting a VASP calculation itself. And one thing I'll be talking about is this atomic simulation environment, which is a tool. That I think it can do a lot of different things uh, and more than I actually have explored. Um, it runs using Python. So I'll also uh, talk about using Python and eventually show the script that I wrote, which I use to do some of the manipulation of the um, the VASP coordinate files. So the way that I installed ASC was using Python, uh, Anaconda. So there are different ways of getting Python running and uh, some of you may already have something. And so you can just stick with what you have. There are installation instructions on the ASC website. But basically, what you need is something to manage Python packages. So I'm not going to go through the installation process for Anaconda because uh, I have it already. But so once you've installed Anaconda, this Anaconda prompt will show up, which is a command line interface. There's also the Anaconda navigator. So to manage packages, you would use the conda commands, which uh, there's a cheat sheet here, but basically it lets you create different environments. You could probably do everything in your base environment uh, instead of setting up something extra because I always just use the same environment anyways. But you can see there are different uh, this cheat sheet lists the different commands. So in this case, I'll create an environment called build. Uh, I already did this before, so it's giving me a warning message. So I'll proceed. Having created it, I'll now activate it. So to install ASC, you can use install it from Conda Forge, which is a sort of repository that has uh, the ASC package. Uh, this is the latest version number according to the website, so that should be fine. And in here it has the command for installing it. So this will take a few moments. So when I installed ASC, it also installed NumPy, which is a package I use. Um, but I'll just check that this is the latest version. I don't know if that'll actually cause any problems. Okay, and the final thing you need is some way to write Python code. So you can just use a text editor or whatever solution you want if you have something already. Uh, what I've been using recently is an IDE called Spider. So if you press want to use that, you can enter install. It'll take some more time. Okay, so you can see here, there'll be a specific version of Spider for the environment that you created, which has your packages that you need. So you can 
and let that open up. So here you can see the file, some files that I've had open recently. There's a console to enter Python commands, variable explorer. If you've used an IDE before, which stands for something like interactive development environment, then this will all be very familiar. So for this video, I'll stop here and I'll discuss the Python scripts that use ASC that I included with this in the next video.